Research shows that children smile an average of 400 times a day, but what if your child physically could not smile? A pioneering new surgery is proving to be a game changer. I worry often for those last 10 years about how her life was going to be. Born with unilateral congenital facial paralysis, Nicole Serena Gonzalez grew up not able to move the right side of her face. Her parents feared what the future may hold for their fun-loving little girl. Most kids don't come with the intentions of being mean. It's the way they phrase it that might hurt her feelings sometimes. Until now, surgeons have used techniques to improve the function of the facial muscles, but... We've been searching for a much better solution that can display the full range of human emotion. A team at the Cleveland Clinic pioneered a new type of procedure called a tri-vector gracilis free tissue transfer. The goal was that we would um, restore a full smile as well as um, a linked movement around the, the eyes. Dr. Byrne took the sural nerve from Nicole's lower leg and connected it from Nicole's functional left side to the paralyzed right side. It's kind of like um, taking an appliance and plugging it into a functional outlet on the other side of the room because that's where the power is coming from. He also took a band of muscles from Nicole's left thigh and inserted part near her lip, part near the corner of her mouth, and another part near her eye. And now, a year after surgery... Now I love my smile. It improved a lot. So do we, beautiful girl. Over the next few years, Nicole's facial control will continue to improve and her movements will become more natural.